Well, we're back in the gravel pit, and in this video, I'm going to show you in under three minutes how to drive an ISO skid steer. This is a 2014 CAT 272D, but it'll be the same for all ISOs. In this particular one, you get in, the first thing you do is you fold down these two bars. This is your seat belt and your uh, safety feature. You got a generic CAT key, you turn that to on, and then up here on the screen, you'll also have a passcode that you have to put in. For obvious reasons, I'll go aside for a second here. But you enter your passcode, and then once you got it all entered, you'll hit enter on the screen, and it'll say welcome, whatever, you turn your key, start your engine. Up here you got auxiliary hydraulic controls, and then this button is very important, this unlocks your attachment. So you slide this up, hold that in, and it'll unlock your attachment. If you want to reattach it, you hold the top in, it'll lock it. Climate control is here, windshield washer, wiper, and this is your park brake. This is very important. Every time you get in, every time you start it, you have to hit this button before you can do anything. Right now your controls are dead. So you hit this button, up here you have your throttle, you can either turn this knob or you have a foot pedal down there that will also throttle it. Starting with your right hand, this is your bucket controls. You pull back, arms up. Push forward, your loader arms go down. Pull in to your left, it scoops up, push to your right, it dumps. On your left hand, you have your drive. Pull backwards, backs up, drives forward. Push forward, goes forward. Left turns left, right turns right. Now this one's fully loaded, so it's got a lot of options here on the joystick that we'll run through really fast. Here you got a trigger on the front. That's your two-speed range control. Right now it's in low range. You click that trigger once, you'll get a rabbit up here, which means you're in high range. You click it again, rabbit disappears, you're back in low range. You got your four buttons here. This is your horn. This is your snail mode. You hit this one, you're in snail mode, and that's crawler mode for a really intricate work, and you can adjust that up and down here. You click it again, and you're out of crawler mode. These two buttons are for your auxiliary hydraulics. Here on your right hand, more auxiliary hydraulics. You also got a trigger here. If you click that once, your bucket floats. Click it again, turns off the float. Up here on top, you got your hydraulic lock, you got your front lights, you got your back lights, and your hydraulic uh, bypass. Over here, you got your ride control. You push it down, the ride control's on, so it's not as rough when you're driving. Back here is your radio. Other than that, pretty straightforward. There's a lot of features in the computer system that we won't run through, but you got your heated seat down here and you also got your air ride there. That's how to drive an ISO skid steer.